Hi everyone, welcome to MLTMCQ and Notes. In this video, I am discussing about important multiple choice questions from previous MLT question papers. First question, swimming pool granuloma is caused by Option A, Mycobacterium ulcerans. Option B, Mycobacterium cancer C. Option C, Mycobacterium marinum. Option D, Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Answer is option C, Mycobacterium marinum. Mycobacterium ulcerans causes burly ulcer. Then Mycobacterium cancer and Mycobacterium marinum are photochromogens that are slow growing and produce a yellow orange pigment when exposed to the light. Mycobacterium cancer and marinum are photochromogens that are slow growing and produce a yellow orange pigment when exposed to the light. Then Mycobacterium cancer C causes chronic pulmonary infection. Then Mycobacterium tuberculosis it is a typical Mycobacteria which causes tuberculosis. Okay, the swimming pool granuloma caused by Mycobacterium marinum. Then second question. Normal human blood pH. Option A, 7 to 7.35. Option B, 7.35 to 7.45. Option C, 4.6 to 8. Then option D, 7.25 to 7.55. Answer is option B, 7.35 to 7.45. Normally, the human blood pH is slightly basic. Blood pH detection is an important indicator of good health. The pH of blood is an indication of acidity or alkalinity in the body. Acidity or alkalinity in the body. Mainly acid-base balance can evaluate by measuring the pH and levels of carbon dioxide and bicarbonate in the blood. Okay. Then third question, stool specimen suspected to contain enteric pathogen is recommended transport medium for Option A, Amis medium, Option B, buffered glycerol saline medium, Option C, Pikes medium, Option D, Stoats medium Answer is Option B, buffered glycerol saline medium Buffered glycerol saline medium is used for Salmonella and Shigella that are main enteric pathogens then amis medium which is used for neisseria then pikes medium for streptococcus then stores medium which is also used for neisseria then others other other transport medium like uh, carry blair medium autoclaved seawater which are used for vibrio then carry blair medium also used for shigella Fourth question, best diluting fluid for WBC count? Option A, Daisy's fluid. Option B, Turk's fluid. Option C, Resecker solution. Option D, Hames fluid. Answer is option B, Turk's fluid. Turk's fluid is the WBC diluting fluid which contains glacial acetic acid and methylene blue. Glacial acetic acid lyses the RBC and methylene blue stains the WBC. Then let's go through other options. Daisy's fluid which is a RBC diluting fluid and Hames fluid which is also an RBC diluting fluid. Then Resecker solution which is used for platelet count which is a platelet diluting fluid. And fifth question. Standard confirmatory test for diabetes mellitus is Option A, FBS. Option B, PPBS. Option C, RBS. Option D, GTT. Answer is Option D, GTT. That is Glucose Tolerance Test. It is a standard confirmatory test for diabetes mellitus. Then HbA1c is a glucose memory test. Which is a memory test. Okay. Then sixth question. Change in size and shape of the erythrocytes cause the ESR to Option A. Increase Option B. Remain in same Option C. Decrease Option D. Fluctuate Answer is Option D. Fluctuate 
വേരിയേഷൻ ഇൻ ആർ ബി സി സൈസ് ഇസ് കോൾഡ് അനൈസോസൈറ്റോസിസ് ആൻഡ് വേരിയേഷൻ ഇൻ ആർ ബി സി ഷേപ്പ് ഇസ് കോൾഡ് പൊയ്ക്കിലോസൈറ്റോസിസ് ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഇസ് ഓൺലി ചേഞ്ച് ഇൻ സൈസ് ആൻഡ് ഷേപ്പ് ഓഫ് ദി ആർ ബി സി സോ ദ ആൻസർ വിൽ ബി ഫ്ലക്ച്വേഷൻ ഇൻ ഇ എസ് ആർ ഇൻ ദി കേസ് ഓഫ് മൈക്രോസൈറ്റോസിസ് ഇറ്റ് ലീഡ്സ് ടു എ ഡിക്രീസ്ഡ് ഇ എസ് ആർ വൈൽ മൈക്രോസൈറ്റോസിസ് ഇറ്റ് ലീഡ്സ് ടു എൻ ഇൻക്രീസ്ഡ് ഇ എസ് ആർ ഇൻ ദി കേസ് ഓഫ് മൈക്രോസൈറ്റോസിസ് ഇറ്റ് ലീഡ്സ് ടു എ ഡിക്രീസ്ഡ് ഇ എസ് ആർ വൈൽ മൈക്രോസൈറ്റോസിസ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ലീഡ്സ് ടു എൻ ഇൻക്രീസ്ഡ് ഇ എസ് ആർ ഓക്കെ സെവൻത്ത് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ മോസ്റ്റ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് മിനറൽ റിക്വേഴ്സ് ഫോർ ഗ്ലൈക്കോലിസിസ് മോസ്റ്റ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് മിനറൽ റിക്വേഴ്സ് ഫോർ ഗ്ലൈക്കോലിസിസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ എ മെഗ്നീഷ്യം ഓപ്ഷൻ ബി മാങ്കനീസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ സി പൊട്ടാസ്യം ഓപ്ഷൻ ഡി ഫ്ലൂറൈഡ് ആൻസർ ഇസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ എ മെഗ്നീഷ്യം മെഗ്നീഷ്യം ആക്ട് ആസ് എ കോ ഫാക്ടർ ഫോർ ദി ആൻസാംസ് ഹെക്സോകൈനൈസ് ഫോസ്ഫോഫ്രക്റ്റോകൈനൈസ് ഇനോലൈസ് ദാറ്റ് ആർ വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ആൻസാംസ് ഇൻ ഗ്ലൈക്കോലിസിസ് cofactor means mineral that are enhance the activity of enzyme so magnesium has important role in glycolysis okay magnesium has important role in glycolytic pathway then eighth question fixative used in electron microscopy option a osmium tetroxide option b boins fluid option c hellis fluid option d hayden haynes susa answer is option a osmium tetroxide uh, boins fluid is a picric acid containing fixative then hellis fluid and hayden haynes susa is a mercury chloride containing fixatives ninth question which of the following is involved in poct poct means point of care testing also known as bedside test it involves any type of diagnostic test that is not done in the laboratory more specifically this type of testing is performed as close as possible to the patient so uh, which of the following is involved in poct option a hexokinase method option b glucometer method option c god pod method option d folding view method answer is option b glucometer method then 10th question the color of arterial blood option a purple red option b magenta red option c scarlet red option d brown red answer is option c scarlet red uh, the color of vein blood is bright red in color then 11th question hiv is a dash virus option a rio virus option b rhabdo virus option c retrovirus option d flavi virus answer is option c retrovirus retroviruses are viruses with rna as genetic material hiv is hiv that is human immunodeficiency virus is an example for retrovirus then 12th question example of a synthetic resinous mounting media option a canada balsam option b clarite option c gum damar option d none of the above answer is option c clarite mounting media are classified into natural mounting media and synthetic mounting media canada balsam gum damar damar balsam which are example for natural mounting media and is clarite which is the example for synthetic mounting media then 13th question crp is produced in option a kidney option b spleen option c pancreas option d liver answer is option d liver CRP is a C reactive protein which increases when there is an inflammation in your body okay then 14th question which is a form of cold sterilization option a infrared rays option b steam sterilization option c gamma rays option d uv rays answer is option c gamma rays sterilization by ionizing radiation is known as cold sterilization Uh, that is x-rays and gamma rays uh, low temperature sterilization 
it is a low temperature sterilization the temperature will not increase significantly okay thank you